Hey guys, Wade here. This is the first official video from the Salty Shore shop down in North Carolina. I wanted to show you my Prime Weld Cut 60 plasma cutter. Although this video, being the first one I'm taking down here, kind of doing a test cut here for the very first time and powering this thing up, this will probably not be the first video that you guys see for a while. This is part of a secret project, if you will. And it's because I, by the time you see this, you'll actually see that I have a Crossfire Pro Plasma cutting table that I will be doing some modifications to. So here's the setup over here. Prime Weld for the Cut 60. It actually gives you a very general guideline as far as the different cutting speeds. I'm going to be cutting... A uh, 1 8 inch plate. I'm actually going to do multiple cuts on this, but I'm just going to try out the first uh, cut for the first time. So, this is a 1 8 inch plate. They don't even actually have 1 8 inch. They have uh, 0.14. Uh, and so the, the one below it is a 16th of an inch. And so, I'm going to shoot the gap right down the middle as far as amps, uh, 35, and then PSI, 53. And then I'm just going to keep uh, dialing this machine in. I was looking at the Hypertherm 45 XP, but there was a lot of modifications that I wanted to do to the plasma cutting table, which was going to be a fair amount of coin. So I figured I'd go ahead and start with this machine right here. It's a, uh, from what I can gather, it's a, uh, it's a very capable machine and actually pretty good for somebody that's starting out and a newbie like me. So I do have it plugged in. This is the one of the many uh, modifications I did to the shop. Uh, that's a mislabel right there. I was late at night, but I went ahead and used the label. But uh, So we have a 230 volt uh, lead that comes right out of the power box right here, very close. That comes down. We'll fire this puppy up. Actually, I'll go around the other side. So this thing, as far as the uh, Cut 60, is actually CNC capable, so I will be running CNC on it. And then I have high pressure air coming in. This LED, I've noticed in pictures, is kind of hard to see, uh, well, as far as on the the TIG 225X, which I bought that as well. I did a blog post on that, of course. So this is set at 35 amps. I've already set the air. And so I'm gonna pause this and then get to cut and then uh, I'll set this on a tripod and we'll see how it works. See you on the other side. I should point out quickly that this offset right here that I have, this is the cut line at four inches the 7 16 offset is because of this drag shield. So I had to measure here. It's slightly less than 7 16 But it's from this edge to the center point of the nozzle. And then that should give me pretty close to a, a 4 inch cut. There will be a little bit more with the kerf. But I'm not too concerned about that. For about approximately 4 inches is fine. One more thing I'll pull in out is my ground clamp is right over here. It's both on the table and also on the piece itself. You can see that was a nice cut. Trying to get this piece with gloves on. So, I might have gone just a hair too fast. There's a little bit of an angle there. Top side looks good. Just a hair bit of dross on the back side on the starting point. Uh, first time I've ever used this. Actually, first time I've ever even plasma cut. So, you can see a little bit of dross there. Probably uh, a little bit of shock factor. And also me going, uh, what's going on here? But 
So anyway, that's the first cut. Very successful. Very fast. Very clean. Uh, that I set the machine to cool down the uh, the torch to have about a 40 second post flow as far as, as, far as the air going through it. So uh, I'm going to call this very successful. I mean, again, this is, it doesn't have to be a super precise cut. This is for a bracket. I'm going to cut four of these. These will actually go on a shelf that I'll be building, and then I'll document that as well. Uh, it'll hold both the plasma cutter underneath the water table and also a, uh, a reservoir for the water so that when I'm not using the water table, I can drain it all the the solution down into a reservoir, hold it, and then when I need to, I can push it back up using a pneumatic system with pressured air to push the water back up into the table and just keep cycling back and forth as I use it. So anyway, uh, so there's the cut. I guess I should show you that instead of just holding it willy-nilly. Again, uh, very, very happy, very pleased. Came out great. Take care. Cheers.